Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How do we advise family members who go back to not praying and fasting after Ramadan? I've tried doing it passively by leading by example, but it doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I think leading by example is an amazing thing. And it's a great thing to do, but it has to be accompanied by knowledge and by encouragement, which is not just your example. And uh, this we can see from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he used to be not only leading by example, but also speaking and, and, and actually verbally reminding people and encouraging people and giving them a maw'idha, uh, something which stirs their hearts and makes them wish to change. So I think there are a number of, of things that you can speak about in order, you know, or, or in addition to leading by example. There are some things you can speak about. I think, first of all, to know what to say, you have to be able to really analyze the person. What causes them to go back to not praying and fasting after Ramadan? What is it that causes that person to do that? And what can you see are the reasons for it or the sins that they might be doing? And then you can bring that encouragement. So you can bring general encouragement, which like we talked about, the maw'idha, which is something which touches a person's heart, the kind of encouragement and the kind of advice and the kind of words that touch a person's heart. And if you feel yourself that you might struggle to say the right words, you can find someone who is saying the right words, one of your teachers or or you know a lecturer online who you can you know take a little piece out for them and give it to them as to why it is that you know you see in terms of generally but also specifically you know specific advice sitting down with someone and giving them encouragement and warning like the prophet sallallahu was uh, was sent na'rsalnaka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadira we sent you as a witness and a bringer of glad tidings and a warner so we want to be people who join between encouragement, targhib, and tarheeb and warning people. So to go to someone personally, it doesn't have to be in front of everyone and say, look, you were doing so well in Ramadan. What happened? You know, where did it go? What happened to your prayers? Come on, let's get back on track. What can I do to help? And so on. And sometimes you'll see a person who needs a little bit st stronger words than that. They need something a bit stronger, not just the gentle words. Somebody needs to listen. You know? Subhanallah, you're going to stand in front of Allah. Yawm al-Qiyamah, how are you going to say that you went through Ramadan doing that and now you went back to it after the Ramadan finished? Subhanallah, taqillah, have taqwa of Allah, fear Allah. So some people need a little bit of a hard push, but generally gentle encouragement, touching their hearts, speaking to them privately, and maybe sending them some beneficial points and, and um, whether it be like video clips or audio clips or whatever that relate to you know, keeping that consistency after Ramadan.